Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Foundry, and we are building another factory here, basically to help us make Science Pack 3s. And so last episode, we plopped down, let's see, a Drone Miner Level 2 over our Ignium deposit, or next to our Ignium deposit. And then we plopped down a Crusher, the first Crusher that we've ever placed, and we saw that it seems like it's kind of slow. <laughs> it's kind of slow to produce the uh, Ignium powder. And uh, let's see, how much do we actually need uh, per little pellet? Let's see here. Let's go in the crafting menu and see. So we need to produce these pellets, and it's going to take five of those powder and one Technum rod, but we will get five pellets out of that. And then, But we need 25 pellets for every fuel rod. And then the fuel rods will go in here, and it's a one-to-one -one Ignium fuel rod to Science Pack 3. So I think we need at least we need at least one more uh, we need at least one more crusher here. I mean at least just to get started. And I think we're gonna have to beef this up. I need to put supports underneath the solar <laughs> underneath the solar farm there too. That looks a little precarious, doesn't it? It looks like it's gonna fall. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna fall down. So yeah, again, when we look to beautify all of our factories, we will uh, we'll maybe put some pillars under there or something because it looks a little to me it looks a little goofy. These platforms may actually connect at some point because we have more processing to do of our um, of our technum here quite a bit actually. So this is going to probably be one giant platform. But let's get to it. Let's go ahead and place another crusher here. Got one in my backpack. Let's see here. Crusher, boom. We'll start with two. Again, I think we're going to need more than that. Uh, I'm going to leave some space. Uh, if you like really compact factory designs, then you're probably not going to like my designs because I don't tend to get too compact with them. So let's go ahead and belt this guy up. Uh, let's plan ahead and do a one of these distributors too. Let's see, did I make any more of those? I did. Let's pop one of these guys down. Right, I might need to take, I need to take one of these off. Let's see, or I need to even move that crusher a little further over. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't feel like moving this over further. Let's, yeah, let's just move the crusher down a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Move it down a few spaces, and then uh, that'll give us room to branch off another uh, belt of the powder, or of the uh, ore, I mean. Come back here, and I just scrolled off of that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've been playing a little bit of Satisfactory lately. And uh, that's why I keep scrolling off of the, uh, when I go to play something and I want to rotate it, I use my mouse wheel and it, that's why I'm losing it because it's uh, it's just, it's going to the next item on my hot bar <laughs> instead of rotating the item that I'm trying to place. So I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and drop this distributor down here. Boom. And then we'll route our belts. Let's take a look how we did it here. Looks like what we came out. Did we come out one or did we immediately branch? We immediately turned. So let's follow that same pattern here with the, our conveyors. I think we immediately turned here. And then what do we go? One, two, something like that. And then this way. And I'm just trying to match this up. So we got two blocks, three really, right? Three belts in this direction. <clears throat> okay, so we're good. Yeah, this is pretty much exactly like the other one. Will they let me place this down? No, I got to move over actually one more. One, two, three. Yeah, I got to move down one more. Let's go ahead and extend our platform a bit. We know we're going to have to do this anyway. Again, I'm going to go to the uh, snap mode or the um, free mode for building. So I can try and get this block where I want it. There it is. 
we're going to need more space. So, and I've got, I still have, what do I have? 976 building blocks. So I'm good there. We're going to just move this guy one more over. This time I will not use the scroll wheel. Okay, crusher, instant mode, crusher. Okay, let me turn off instant mode. Go to snap mode. Boom. And now we should have it. Boom. Now let's go ahead and set our recipe on the crusher. It should have power. Boom. And there it goes. So yeah, you can see the, the powder production is kind of slow. Do we get five for each crush? Boom. We do get five for each crush. So I guess that helps a little. We've got room to expand. We can keep bringing this belt down and do more. Now we got to think about the output side of the equation here. So let's extend our platform a little bit more here with room to uh, with room to route this stuff. <laughs> the crusher animation is pretty cool. I kind of like that. If you see it at the top of the building, boom, boom. All right. But now the challenge is I got to route all this powder down somewhere or, or, you know what we could do? What I wasn't thinking, I could route it in this direction and then combine it with our Technum rod production. So let's think about that for now. So we've got our powder being produced. Let's leave that. Let's jump over to the Technum stuff. We have a ton of, uh, we have a lot we need to do with the Technum and I got to do some diet, uh, some drilling here. So we'll probably have some jump cuts in this episode as well. But yeah, we need Technum rods to mix with the powder. I've said this a thousand times. And then we need Technum rods and we're going to build wire and send that down to the main factory. And then we're going to also send electronic components down to the main factory. And the electronic components take a Technum rod and the wire coils. So tons of wire and tons of Technum rods, it looks like. So let's see, but what I was thinking of is since we have the powder coming in this way, right? These guys are going to output powder. It might make sense to have some assemblers somewhere around here and pump in the Technum rods and then shoot out the, uh, shoot out the pellets, the Ignium pellets. So let's just see, what do we want to do with this? I guess we've got room here. How do we want to do it? How do we want to do it, do it, do it? Rods, I guess it makes sense to put drone miners here and have the rod production come off this way. And then on this side of the mine or in the back of the mine, we could be doing the cables and the electronic components, maybe off to this way we build up. So let's do that. Let's, I'm going to dig down here. I just have a little bit of digging to do. I'm going to put a platform. We're going to extend this platform or solar panel farm platform. And this will be where we assemble Technum rods. We have quite a few we're going to need. And then again, we'll combine that with the powder we're crushing over here and we'll spit out the pellets and route those all the way back to the main factory. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of digging. So here comes some music for you to listen to. Here we go. All right, I'm back. That should be enough to at least get us started. I'm going to have to dig out some more here, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But basically, I just need enough. Maybe I start here and actually route that stuff over. I just need enough to drop down some drone miners and uh, get us started. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop some building blocks here. Boom. We'll fill this in as well. Boom. And now let's think about how we want to do this. I think we want a drone miner right here. We have a 
have this space too, though. I guess we should take advantage of this. Let me drill this out real quick. I can just keep it on, keep you guys with me while I do this. It's not going to take very long. The sand is nice and fast to drill through. Probably the fastest substance that I've that I've drilled so far. And the stone obviously is the slowest, or uh, I guess you'd say the ore is the slowest, right? You try and drill the ore with a hand drill. It is a slow process. All right, so let's go ahead and expand this out. We are actually going to chew through all of these building blocks I brought. It won't take long. And while I've got this selected, I know we're going to be expanding this. So let's just do it. Let's just do it. Boom. Still have 640 blocks. I'm going to grab some more because we're going to go out this way. That'll get us started. Okay, so I'm thinking on this edge of the Technum Ore, we'll place some drone miners, level twos. We'll route the ore this way, turn it into Technum Rods, and send it, send some of those, at least some of those Technum Rods down here to be combined somewhere in the middle with the um, Ignium Powder and make the pellets. And that's it, right? The pellets go all the way back to the factory. I know I've said this a thousand times and I keep going over it. So I apologize for that, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, once we have these enriched Ignium Pellets, we send those all the way down and they'll get combined up later in our uh, main factory with the other ingredients needed and uh, and then eventually turn in these ignium fuel rods down near the main factory and then those fuel rods will be combined with some stuff and, and turned into our science pack threes and then we can start researching. We'll get extra inventory too. That might be one of the early things we want to research because I can see I'm, I'm starting to fill up more. I do have a bunch of sand here I can get rid of that's just taking up space. Um, but yeah, I think the extra inventory slots would be nice. And then I haven't, we haven't spent much time looking at the research tree to even see what else is coming. And then keep in mind with uh, the iron beams or steel beams created now that we're producing and the advanced machinery parts. We have access to the level twos, right? The level two drone miners and the level two assemblers. And I think we've had level two belts for quite a while. It'd be neat if they had um, more powerful, pun intended, solar panels, but I don't think that's something that we have, right? It's just a regular solar panel. Maybe there's a way to research it. Let's just look out of curiosity and see what we have coming research-wise once we get these science pack threes. Looks like there's only about six things here, right? So conveyors, three. More inventory, I mentioned that. There's that loader. I think we talked about that too. Uh, the map scan for Olamite. We haven't used that yet. And we're not gonna, it doesn't look like we're gonna use it for a science pack three production either. So that must come into play with the, uh, with the next tier. The research lab four and science pack fours perhaps, or what that's gonna, um, where we get into the Olamite, we'll find out. And then we've got mining drill speed. That's always nice, especially for me when I'm off camera doing <laughs> doing my homework assignments where I got to drill out a bunch because it takes it takes a while to flatten some of this terrain. And then we got piping. That's probably for the Olamite. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then our research lab for. How many does this take? That's not too bad. 200, 200, and 100. We probably have science pack ones and science packs twos. This many just sitting there waiting. And then unavailable research. Let's just take a quick look. Okay, there's a, there, oh, look at that. There is an advanced solar panel. Cool. Oh man, that's kind of cool. Do we need, what do we need? Okay, unlocks that. We need energy cells. I don't know what energy cell, what energy cell is. Is that this thing? Energy cell. Wow, look at the dependencies. Research lab three. Battery small, we have that. Combustion generator one, we have it. Chemical processor and ore refinement. Very cool. All right. Yeah, I don't know if we've looked at, look at these before. Mining laser, that's for the hand drill, I think. Monument. Sweet, sweet. This must be one of like kind of towards the end game. All right, so we, yeah, cool. And the solar panels, that's neat. Solar panel large. All right, we got some cool stuff coming. Cool stuff coming. All right. So we expect to the work at hand. Let's go ahead and place a drone miner. I guess we'll start 
I guess we'll start over here somewhere. Let's grab one. We've got four left. These we're going to see. I just did it again. I hit the scroll wheel and I lost it. I'm trying to rotate. Got to use the R key. And I got to remember that. Where do we want the panel facing? I think the ore is going to come out towards where I'm standing. So maybe this guy. And we're going to have some here too, though. So there's no way to get around having them, uh, having the belts be right in front of the, the control panel of the of the uh, drone miner. I'm not crazy about that, but there's really no way around it. So, all right, these guys are off and running. Technum it is. I did, incidentally, I did request that they add Technoferrite as an ore in the game <laughs> because for some reason I keep referring to the Xenoferrite is technoferrite and you've probably heard it and cringed several times in this series i don't know what's going on in my brain that makes that happen but the easy fix i figure is they should just add technoferrite to the game it belongs there it should have been there from the start so i made that request in the discord server we'll see what happens all right back to the work at hand let's make technum rods and those are just it's been a while since we've crafted those i think it's just um it's just the ore right Let's take a look. Yeah, it's just Technum ore requires a, yeah, an assembler. Let's uh let's go with level twos. So let me get out. I'm just trying to see where we're gonna want to position this. We're gonna have to extend out a little bit more, but let's go ahead and place our level twos. We bought brought quite a lot a few with us. And I'll probably do that same route of kind of coming in through the side like we did with the crushers. How far should I go over? I want room, you know, I kind of want room. So I'm gonna drop this right here. It's not gonna be perfectly symmetrical with our crushers, but this will get us started. And let's start with the inside, what I'm calling the inside um, output port here of the drone miner. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's route this guy out here. And then we know pretty early on we're going to have to branch this guy. So let's grab a distributor. Do, do, do. How many do I have? I have three left. We're going to need more, I'm sure. Pop that guy down. Let's slap a loader on this guy. I guess we could go in the middle. I'll just go in the front. That's fine. And I think I got enough this room here to snake a belt around with it. Not complaining, but we got to quickly turn south here and then boom. So that's loading up. I need to pick a recipe. We've already got hooked up, hooked up. We've already have it hooked up to power, I should say. Easy for me to say. We want Technum rods. Oops, here we go. Boom, tier one. I'm not sure what these tier two are used for. I guess we're going to find out. I think I mentioned before, yeah, they definitely need to have like different... Uh, Different images for those because it's easy to confuse them. Technum ingots. We haven't done that yet either. All right. Well, we got more stuff coming. There go the rods. Those produce fairly quick. And let's drop another assembler. We're going to need a lot of these. So just think this through for a minute. We may. Yeah, we may have another line here. Maybe we'll put a drone miner here and do another line of these. We'll just have to see how this works. Let's plop another assembler down here. Boom. Let's give ourselves some room. Do, 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 do. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put six in between. And we will, let's see, where is our distributor? Is what, one, two, three blocks away? So let's pop another one of those down. I'm gonna need to craft more of those. All right. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And it's gonna be here, and we wanna be three blocks away. Did I get it? I think I might have got it. Let's try. A little snug. 
I'm snug here, but we can walk through. The belt's going to be in the way too, but maybe we'll clean that up later. For now, this will do. Well, let's go and pop this guy down here, here, and then into that. And then we'll pick our recipe, configure this guy. Technum rods, tier ones. And let's hook up the belt. Boom. To boom. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Now I'm not sure how many. I'm getting already getting a little bit of belt's not really compressed there, is it? I don't know how many I can run off a single belt. That's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. But I could always probably add another distributor here and just feed in this next supply into that and continue on. Let's start with two to get us going. These are level two assemblers, so they're going to process faster than the level ones and probably process faster than we saw those crushers. We're going to need to extend this platform out. Boom, boom. Let's just do it. We've got the, we've got the goods. We're down to 350. Okay. So at some point we're going to meet up with this powder and turn it into rods or the uh, pellets, I should say. So let's think about that for a second. How do we want to do it? We obviously need to complete this entire platform. I don't think I've got enough building blocks on me to do it. Let's see. I've got, I still have a fair number of these xenoferrite plates while I'm here. Let's start crafting up what I can. I don't think I need those uh, xenoferrite plates. So we can turn those into, we can turn those into building blocks. That's that. I'm going to get rid of this ore while I see it in my inventory. So that gets us a few more blocks. We can expand a little bit. But I'm just trying to think of how we want to utilize this space. Because if we have another row, then I can't just route our, our technum rods straight out this way. We probably have to maybe put another row, another row of assemblers. And then maybe have the input of the technum ore come out behind them. And then in the middle channel here between the two rows of assemblers then spit out a belt, maybe a level two belt of the rods and just come straight out here and then eventually route it back down into there. And then we can zigzag back in the other direction into assemblers that are taking in that uh, ignium powder. That's an option. That is an option. Let's try it and see. I don't know if it's going to work, but you know, if we overthink it, we'll never get going here. So let's do a couple like that. And let's feed them into, or let's drop. Hmm. Can't complete a sentence today. Let me, uh, let me do this. Let me extend this out. And maybe drop those assemblers and just see how this is going to look. Because I'm thinking four assemblers, four level two assemblers. Maybe it's overkill. I'm not going to do all the math. <laughs> but uh, I was thinking four assemblers, just dumping out technum rods and having a, either one level two belt fully compressed come out of this and over this way to meet up with this ignium, ignium ore powder and some kind of row of assemblers that are just churning out the pellets, the enriched, uh, the enriched ignium pellets. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'll show you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of dropping these. I want them to be aligned with that. And I do want the control panels facing out. Let's just put one there for now. 
And what I was thinking of doing, and I'm purposely keeping these spaced apart because I think it might look cool. I need to go one more. Let's see. If I want a single belt. Hmm. I kind of want these to output and, and then fall onto a belt, but maybe you could do two belts here. So I'll show you what I'm looking at. It'd be something like, you know, this and this, and then these guys coming out like this. Something, you know, something like that. And then all of this stuff eventually turning off and coming in to be turned into those pellets. But I just don't know. I guess I can look at these panels and see here. Does it tell us what the output is? This is 30 per minute. Do the belts tell us what they hold? Let's see. Maybe in the crafting menu or in the inventory, do they tell us here? 1.2 per second. 0.8 per second. So 1.2 per second is what? That's over 60. So <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, so that's what? 72 or something? 72 per minute. The level one belt will hold. And this guy can kick out 30. The two of these can fill a regular belt. Can you laugh at my math skills here? Yeah, two of these can fill a regular belt. So four, let's see what the level two belt is. I'm sure it's not double speed. It'd be nice if it was. Let's see if that's in the craft menu here. 1.2, so 0.8 to 1.2. So a level two conveyor doesn't quite get us double. So we might have to go with two belts here like this. Not crazy about it. Ah, let's start with that. We can always clean it up later. Again, kind of overthink it and it becomes an issue. Let's do this, this, and let's mirror that assembly. Let's make sure these have output set let me just do that real quick output output go ahead boom and boom and then let's get rid of our little floating conveyor here and place our other assembler and we will be on our way to at least our first setup of technum rods and we're going to need more than just this little area of Technum Rods. Let's see if I can get to a vantage point where I can tell if I'm lined up. Is that it? Or one more? I think it's there, right? Let's just plop this down and then I can adjust. That's way off. Okay, two, oh, just felt. Let me extend our platform here. Got the resource to do it. Let's do it. Change the build mode, and we will extend this out so I don't fall. Boom. And we can extend this out as well. We're going to have to make a trip back to our main factory here before long to fetch resources. But maybe we'll do the solar coming up on the end of this episode, though. Let's, uh, let's get this going. Oops. <laughs> Let me change the build mode. Boom. And is that about right? Looks right from that angle. I think that is what we want. Let's see. Is that lined up? That looks good. All right. Let's put our output on there. How do we do it? We did the far side, it looks like, on all these. Let's go ahead and put that loader down. Not there. Boom. And conveyors, boom. And now we need to route, I guess the, yeah, what we'll do, the next thing we'll do is route out the uh, 
a supply of Technum for these two guys. I want to kind of mirror if I can. It looks like I'm the belt that goes straight through is three over, right? So there's two in the middle, there's a gap of two, and then there's our main belt. So let's just do a gap of two and put a main belt here just so we know roughly what we're doing. We're going to delete some of those guys. But, and then how do we do this? We are coming in the sides. So in this case, it would be here, right? It would be here and here. And then our distributors. Wow, how am I dropping these belts all over on top of these loaders? You guys probably see it. I did not notice that. Uh, but it's interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how I did that. You can leave a note in the comments if you saw that. But I uh, was not expecting those to be floating there. All right. I'm just looking at where we put our distributors. I guess it's easy enough just to match it right to this guy, right? Let's uh, let's go into the craft menu, see if I can make any more of those. No, I can't. We're, we've only got one left. So we'll place the one we've got. We're going to have to come back. Like I said, we're going to have to go back to the uh, our main lab. I think we are like, let's see. Yeah, we're like this, right? And then we snake it down, I think. Boom, 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 boom. I think that's how we've got it set up. Let's just take a look from afar and see if those are lined up. That looks about right. That looks about right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see, I've got a drone miner. I can do that at least. I kind of want to, I guess it doesn't matter. We can just bring them over here. We do have some of these left. That one we had the panel kind of going out, right? Like this, but how about we do here? That's 90 blocks in range, that's 92. Well, maybe the 92 is better. Let's do it. All right, so that guy should start mining right away. And then for this one, we came straight out the side. Here, we can't really do that so much. I guess we could, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's uh, let's come out here. Oh, I'm out of uh, distribute. Um, out of loaders too. Let's take a look. See if I can build those. No, I can't. So I used up all those. Xenoferrite plates I had were just about just about out of supplies. We're right at the end of the episode. So while I've got you here, let's use up the rest of the building blocks. In the next episode, we will head back to our main factory and reload on supplies. But let's just see how far we can extend this guy with what we've got on hand. Oh man, not bad. More than I thought. Cool. We got 50 more. I think we missed the edge here. Let's just fill that in. Boom. And let's fill some of this in and then we'll go get more supply back. Back at our main factory at the top of the next episode. All right, let's wrap this one here. Made some progress. We're getting our Technum rod, at least our initial set of Technum rods being produced. This may be overkill. We'll find out. Um, but I'm intending for these four assemblers to simply be supplying Technum rods over here to our uh, what's going to be our assembly of the enriched ignium pellets. So that hopefully that that should come together in the next episode. And uh, in the meantime, this is just Glider Cat signing off, saying thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you keeping with me in this. I enjoy this game quite a bit. Hope you do too. <laughs> and hope you're enjoy hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, and until next time, I will see you in the next episode.